Thank you, Yanis. The last uh, panelist, Dr. Konofagos, who has two uh, hats, one from uh, being the general director of Hellenic and the past in uh, Public Petroleum Corporation, and now the private company, vice president of uh, Flow Energy. Elias. Uh, so while you are tired, uh, I will try to be short. Uh, my slides are in Greek, but I will speak in English. So, uh, I will repeat the question. Is there any oil and gas in Greece, really? So, the answer, according to uh, William Tavularias, who was ExxonMobil chairman, is that uh, a country uh, owns oil and gas reserves if uh, bureaucracy, local bureaucracy, and the terms of the contract between the state and the companies allow these reserves to be really recoverable. And uh, you, you know that uh, actually in Greece now, there is 300,000 square kilometers onshore and offshore that has been considered for exploration and production. So, 130,000 square kilometers are in water depth between 500 and 3,000 meters. Technology, if any big target is present mainly offshore, technology exists for locating and, if possible, uh, produ produce uh, any uh, good target. So, about, uh, uh, I will say, exploration rate. In the United States, you have 637 wells per 10,000 square kilometers already established. In Europe, it's about 30 wells per 1,000 square kilometers. And in Greece, you have only nine wells per 10,000 kil uh, square kilometers. So, R Greece is, remains a totally unexplored country. According to, uh, if you look the recent studies in Houston, you will see that uh, Greece is the third more unexplored country after Morocco and South Africa. Then, most probably, most of the good targets could be off offshore. It remains to be seen. And, but, as uh, the previous speaker said, uh, risk, uh, I will say, it's very high. And uh, exploration and investment risk. So, uh, do you expect any serious investor to come and invest offshore in Greece? This is a, a good question. Uh, I will say again that uh, it could be if a, a political real will exist, uh, if oil prices are in a good level, and if the terms of the agreements expected between the state and the companies allow both sides to have and win-win situation. And, but mm -hmm. where we are, if you go to the Fraser Institute, which is the most reputable scene about countries attractive to investors, you will find that in 2012, Greece was 93rd. In 2013, we are in 116. 
And you will find that in 2014, it's we're in 131st. So my question to all of us is why we are not between the 10th, first, most attractive countries in exploration production. So this is a real challenge and a good question, I think. Thank you very much.